So Chris Roshlow, the acting administrator is here. Tour's going great. He's asking all the right questions, really diving into the things that matter, quality, safety, consistency, but he also has a bend of understanding that we got to do this economically. So it's been really cool to field his questions. In the United States, there has not been an electric engine that has been certified standalone. So H500A is primed to be the first Part 33 engine certification for an electric propulsion unit, which is really exciting. Also, when you look at the aircraft side of it, we do have an aircraft that is all electric being certified under Part 23 with no special conditions. And that's a significant milestone for us, for the FAA, to show that we can use the existing frameworks that they've put in place to develop and bring these technologies to market. The FAA cares a lot about data because data informs how we do things. And one of the things I've really seen here today, whether it's on the wall or on a screen, is the ability to collect that data and make sure that the company continues to improve when we think about things like safety. That data informs how we certify, how we operate, and those are the things that I think that are really gonna make a difference. We're building an industry together with the FAA. So it's not just looking at what needs to happen to enable our projects that we're working on today, but also how do we bring this to the next level? How are we looking out as we're designing for the next iteration, for the next technology that we want to showcase for the world? Where I see Beta is really leading in this space when we talk about electric propulsion, when we think about the different applications of these types of aircraft, I think about regional, local communities that are gonna be now better connected simply because they have access to aircraft like this. This really is something that we have to work towards together. So, you know, the FAA is learning just as much as we are um, as we're, we're developing and we're bringing that knowledge to them. They're bringing the policy knowledge to us. So helping drive that together, it does bring your working relationship closer and it really is more of a collaboration.